Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and I am back for more Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Final Mix on the PS5. Although this is the PS4 version. Now, I have finally got my hands on the Ultima Blade. And I'm just going to quickly do a review here of the synthesis items. So, uh, obviously the Thunder Gems you get from the green fish and the blue fish in uh, Atlantica. <coughs> the Mystery Goo I did a video for, you get that over in Agrabah from the Black Mushrooms, but you can get them from the white ones as well, but it's a lot easier to get them from the black ones. The Serenity Powers, that's the mushrooms over in the deep jungle up at the treehouse, you have to cast stop on them, and then when the big guy comes out, you stop him and then hit him as many times as you can. You must get at least 50 hits or more. The Stormy Stones, that is the uh, rare spawn um, that's at the world's end at the final area, which I showed you guys. The Dark Matter you'll pick up from various locations. The last three, though, you might have to craft. I certainly did. Um, these two I haven't bothered with, but I'll just quickly go over it anyway. So the Fury Stones, that's the black guys that, <coughs> excuse me, that appear over in Wonderland. You have to go through numerous different waves to get to them. And it's usually in the Bizarre Room, going through the normal entrance. Power Stones, that's here in Traverse Town. That's the weird uh, looking monkey things that were in the second district and you have to kill five of them. Uh, the Mithril Stone, that's the Pot Scorpion over in uh, Agrabah. And Energy Stones, that's the Invisible Guys in Hollow Bastion. You can find them on the bottom floor. Um, and you'll know when they've spawned in because only one of the Fat Bandit guys will spawn in. Uh, or you can also find them right at the top of Hollow Bastion as well, where you fought Riku. Uh, the Dazzling Stones, that's the big blowfish that flies around above Captain Hook's ship, which I showed you a while back. Lightning Stones, that's the little black floaty thing that splits into multiple over in the deep jungle. Uh, Frost Stones, that's the rare spawn in um, Monstro, uh, where we fought the final boss of the area. You have to hit him with Elixirs. And the blaze stone that is um, that is uh, Halloween Town in the area where we fought Oogie Boogie. Uh, the Gales that's the two new creatures at the World's End um, world. Frost gems that is uh, that's the other fish, that you, the tentacly fish that you find in Atlantica. The blaze gems you get from the swordsman over in Agrabah. Uh, pretty sure that really covers all the rest of it. Um, right, let's move on then. So we're going to now go and start taking out the optional stuff, starting with the Hades Cup. So we'll go ahead and warp over to the Colosseum here. And there's a couple of bosses as well to deal with over here. But we'll get the um, Hades crop out of the way first, which is going to take a little while. In fact, it will probably take up this entire video to do it. Um, but we're going to be using, obviously, the Ultimate Blade. There you go, just to show it off. Nice big key blade, very powerful. And it is the strongest one in the game. So we've obviously got this question mark one here as well, but we'll deal with that later. For now, we're going to focus on the Hades Cup. And there are 49 rounds to get through and a boss fight at the end of each 10 rounds. We should get through this quite quickly though, to be fair. Especially with me using the ultimate one. Won't take me very long at all. Ugh! <laughs> 
And the ultimate blade also has a lot longer reach as well, which also does make it quite handy. I'll tell you what, it took a lot of grinding to get as well. It was up until like 3 in the morning grinding for this blade. Leave, we should be fighting Yuffie soon as well. This one can just hit once really. Now these blue mushrooms you can also get the mystery goo from as well. I believe it's a lot harder. Here's Yuffie. Can we get the Genji shield for Goofy? I'm not sure if that's better than what he's using, I will have to look into that. See how quickly we get to this. I may have to split it into two videos, but we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, I did wait until now to do Herpes Cup because I thought having the Ultimate Blade might get me through it to tag quicker, so I could get it all into one video. But we'll see how things go. Ah, the Behemoth. This will be the last of the behemoths that we actually have to fight now as well. Thank goodness. Quite a tough one, actually. I must admit. I believe our next boss fight will be Cerberus. Yeah. 
possibilities well that's just normal. Now the critical pluses they stack and will increase your chances of getting critical hits and the way I understand it is the more critical hits you get the better chance you have of uh, getting rare items dropped. Especially the mystery goo as well. So do keep that in mind. Talking of the mushrooms, these black mushrooms here, these are the ones that we give off the mystery do using the Simba method, which by now um, you should have seen the video for. That was in my last batch of videos that I put out. Actually, getting through this quite quickly, a lot quicker than I anticipated. Oh, we've got a few in the mix. There we go. Wizard. I believe the wizards are the ones that give off the shiny stones. But I'm not 100% certain. The one in the middle there, that's one of the ones that will give you the gales. Ah, Cerberus. This shouldn't be too difficult. Defense. As you can see, he's got a bit more health from the last time we fought him. But by now, we know the drill. Come 
Having the ultimate blade makes the fight so much easier because of the range or the reach on it that it has. I have to admit. There we go, we now have Fun Dagger. So I believe our next boss fight will be Cloud and Squall together. Or Leon as he's known in this game. These are the ones that will give you your lucid gem. These the ones that these guys give. And you'll need quite a few of these. And your best bet is to farm them from the second district of the first town. Stick the encounter plus ability on as well because it really will help. I think you get the encounter plus ability once you've synthesised a certain amount of the That's items. The the I think it's you get about halfway through the list. on the recording so far and we're almost halfway through this already another guard arm I haven't lost Donald or Goofy at all yet since I upgraded them. So I gave them a load of accessories that I wasn't using. But it seems to have done the trick. Now this fight can be a bit challenging, I'll be honest. It's over. Oh, 
I recommend trying to take Leon out first. Not easy to deal with. Let me get the Lion Heart Blade, which isn't as good as what we're using. Our next boss fight will be Hades. So let's continue plowing through and see how we go. the 80s now, you know, actually, now that I think about it. That's the power of the Keyblade! Good. 
Like it is. We're at 25 minutes on the clock so far. This round to go, then we're on to Hades. And we can be a bit of a pain in the bum to deal with. But I will show you guys how to deal with them. Let's try. Oh, that all right here we go yo hey how you doing everybody <laughs> yeah got a minute hades lord of the dead nice to see you hey guess what i got a place you can try take that well, he does have a pretty large health pool you will have to Wallop him a few times. When he does his fire attack, just run around in a circle with it, you know, have it follow you basically. Hey, you having fun yet? Hades down. Sadly, that is not the last of Hades, for he does pop up again in Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3. I think it's only in Kingdom Hearts 3 where he finally gets defeated properly. Although, I believe it when I see it, of course, since Hades does not go down without a fight. He is very stubborn. Alright then, last nine waves. Let's get through this as fast as we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the recording to go to these guys and I'll unpause when I get to the last of it. Okay, so here we are on the 
second to last round. Thought I'd unpause the recording now at this point. Almost there now. Had a few annoying fights to deal with, so it's probably a very good thing that I could pause the recording, otherwise it would probably make this recording a lot longer now. The only place where they don't drop Final battle is against the Rock Titan. He's actually relatively easy to take out now that I think about it. I've been a bit difficult. And then when he goes down, you want to get to the top here and start rolling. So next up we are going to start eliminating the optional fights. Let me see. Uh, about five optional boss fights to do in total. Now I know last time I did absolutely terrible against them. But this time I'm actually a lot better prepared. I've done all the synthesis. I've got all the stuff that I need. So hopefully we are going to take We're them the down gems. one by one. And we learn the ability Trinity Limit, which I'm not 100% certain to do what that one does. Let's have a quick point. Channel the party's remaining MP to crush surrounding foes. Okay. And we've also unlocked Vortex as well. I'm going to go ahead and chuck that critical plus on. Hmm. So as you can see, my team are quite high level now as well. But folks, I'm going to finish up the episode here. And I will be back next time with more Kingdom Hearts, where we shall start taking on the optional bosses. So I'll see you all then. Take care.